Hello and welcome back to another FIFA 22 player review. Today's player review is the brand new player of the month, Aranza Harvey. And just before I get into the review, I'd just like to thank all of you for the recent support on my player of the month game video and just all my videos in general. But with that being said, let's get into it. And now on the screen is the team that I used to complete this Sahavi SBC. I did actually forget to show the team that I submitted into Hurricane yesterday. But here it is. So let's move into the team that I used for this Sahavi review. Now on the screen is the team that I used for this Sahavi review. Now if you have watched my Player of the Month Hurricane review, then you'll be saying this is basically the same team. It's because it is, and you can see I've just swapped Kane out, put him on the bench. So Harvey, up at right striker, he is on 10 chem. So let's look at the stats after my three champs games. And now on the screen is the stats. So I played three games in champions, scored six goals, got three assists. So let's move into the gameplay. Okay, so into the gameplay section we go for Zaha Harvey. And... You'll see from the gameplay that this is champs and that, to be honest, this team's just quite monstrous at this point. I did finish rank 5, I believe, and that was with 6 games left. I just couldn't be bothered to push on because, well, this game just isn't good enough ultimately. It's very infuriating. I think I should have got rank 4 like far earlier on but regardless of that this reviews a bouncer harvey two nice finishes in his first game and we will be adding a third to it and i've got to say he has got an absolute rocket in his boot i don't know what it is i don't think you can really tell it from the gameplay but if you're going to use this Sahavi card you will notice his shot power it genuinely feels like it's 99. It is 96 with the Hawk, which is what I have on him. But there's something about the animation that when he shoots, it just absolutely flies in. And I don't know why, but it's just fantastic to be honest. I don't know why anyone would complain about having a striker whose shot power just seems to break the net every single time but as you can see so Harvey another one just absolutely smashing it top bins and I believe this game he got two goals and two assists so this is his assist or his second assist the fella rage quit before the 40th minute two goals two assists so into the final game now, this is somehow Zahavi's assist. Don't ask me how, because normally that doesn't actually count. Abraham did all the hard work. So, into the final clip of the gameplay. Bellingham wins the ball. Bale into Zahavi. Takes it past Klosterman, who absolutely pocketed him this game. But I'll be back with the pros and cons in a second. So into the pros we go for Zahavi, the first is his 96 shot power, as I said in the gameplay, feels like 99, obviously 96 shot power is because he has the hawk on him, just like his 97 long shots you would have seen in the gameplay, I believe it was his second goal, very nice finesse shot from just outside the box. And the 97 is because he has a hawk on him. He has very well-rounded passing. As you saw, he got three assists in the three games. Then the final pro is his four-star weak foot. So at this stage of the game, I've said it before, preferably it would be a five-star weak foot. But four-star, four-star, it's just fantastic on a striker. And on to the cons of this Sahavi card. The first thing... He did sometimes feel just a little bit too slow. Now, I was debating whether to put a Hunter or a Hawk on him. 
I decided to go with a Hawk just because he would boost his physicals and shooting as well as his pace. But on second thoughts, maybe if you were going to use this card, I would suggest using a Hunter, even though a Hawk is very good. But I think to solve his pace problem, a Hunter would do it. Then he does have 88 strength with the Hawk chem style, but he was actually bullied a couple times. Now, I think the strength stat in FIFA is just completely irrelevant if someone's faster. It's normally the case because you'll find someone like Maradona, Neymar, Vinicius Jr, Usman Dembele. They're all super fast, their strength's super low, but they seem to bully defenders. And it's just one of those things. And then the final con is his 82 composure. Now, I may have scored 6, but I felt like he probably could have scored 11 or 12. And I just felt like he was let down by his composure a couple times. So, do I recommend completing this player of the month, Eren Zahavi? In my opinion, I would definitely complete this card. He only requires an 83 rated squad. So, he's coming in anywhere between 12k to 15k. I think he's a fantastic card for that price. He links to Fantasy for Majueke. I do apologise if that's not how it's pronounced. He would be a great super sub. So even if you don't start him, he definitely would be a fantastic super sub to bring on in the 70th minute. If you don't want to use him, he is fodder. So as an 86, he'll go into most high rated squads. Then... The last thing, he is great for objectives that require Eredivisie players. So whether that be squad battles or in friendlies, I think for less than 15k, you can't really go wrong with this card. I would like to thank you all for watching this video. If you did enjoy it, drop a like, comment down below if you're going to complete this Sahavi card. Hit that subscribe button to not miss out on any FIFA 22 content. But for now, I'll see you in the next one.